couple of weeks ago I turned on my 2445B Tektronics oscilloscope only to find out that it didn't want to boot properly. After turning it on it just constantly went into this tick mode where it wants to try and uh, boot up the system and only finds that it's not working properly. Fortunately there's some really good manuals available. The um, the Tektronix surface manual for the 2465B is almost identical to the 2445B. So looking at that, um, on page 451 is a really nice preliminary troubleshooting guide, sort of a flow diagram. When we start at 1, we turn the power on, goes to diagnostic, does something appear on the CRT? No. Is there a SWP triggered indicator flashing? Well, looking at what's happening, that one is not flashing. Do the indicator LEDs respond when the AB trigger is pressed? I tried that and nothing happens. Do the scale factors appear with readout intensity fully clockwise? Well, there's nothing on the readout so we can't even verify that. Are power supplies within limits given on table 5.1? So at this stage I went to the Tektronix forums to see if there was any useful information there. And several forum posts that discuss similar issues suggest to replace old electrolytic capacitors since it's generally good practice and it could be all that's needed to fix the issue. The date code of some chips inside this particular oscilloscope indicate that it was manufactured around 1989, which is more than 30 years ago. On the forums I also read that the constant restarting is likely caused by an overcurrent protection circuit, and so I decided to replace the capacitors on the regulator board and the inverter board as a starting point. There's a great resource on the web called EEV Blog, and they have a number of entries posted there for all sorts of technical topics. There's a huge number of posts in a uh, forum post called Tektronix 2465B Oscilloscope Teardown. And at present, the forum has about 69 pages of that. In there, I found it on page 22. Somewhere half down the page, there's a entry. Uh, someone asking, "Does anyone have the DigiKey parts list handy for a power supply recap?" And there's a Dropbox link there to a uh, recap parts Excel sheet. Now, if you find that document on the Dropbox site, then good on you. But if it's no longer there hosted, you can also find it on the TechScopes Groups.io forums. And if you go to, to their Techscopes, uh, you may need to become a member first, but if you go to the file section and you simply type in a recap, then you get about nine results. And in there you will find the old parts list from 2012, 2013. And there's another one, it's an updated June 2018 link. And so they both have links to an Excel document and the Excel document from 2012 lists mainly parts from uh, Mauser and Newark. But it's a bit dated. It's updated up until May 2013. But it is good because it lists you all the parts back then that were found on the supplier sites for recapping the, um, the regulator board and the inverter board. The list from 2018 only has DigiKey parts and it's updated up until March 2018. So I started with the latest version of the list and pretty much went one by one to see if all those DigiKey parts were still available and if they were in stock. It's one thing to have them available but if there's a lead time of a year then yeah you're not going to be happy with that. The list that I came up with is, you can call it a 2021 list of parts, and I'll link that in the description below. And that is also mainly DigiKey and a few Mauser parts that 
do the recap of the A2, A1 board, the A3 board and I also changed a few caps on the A5 board and that is slightly different for the 2445 when you compare it to the 2465 boards. After getting all these parts I opened up the oscilloscope and started uh, soldering them out, the old ones, and putting the new ones in one by one and once I did that I put everything back together again and lo and behold this was the result. Right, so that was not good. The problem is still then inside somewhere and it's obviously not fixed by the recapping. So I opened everything back up again and this time I had a, a close visual inspection of all the parts on those two boards, on the inverted board and the regulator board. Just trying to find if there was anything there that may have had scorch marks or signs of running hot or something else that I missed maybe. So I put a multimeter on pretty much all the diodes to begin with. Um, they should have some current flow in one direction and no in the other and a simple diode uh, testing uh, function on most multimeters is more than sufficient to test that. And so as I was doing that here is one particular diode and when I tried to measure it, it it registered a dead short in both directions. So ha, that's not good. I thought I'll just take that out and replace it with another one. And as I was uh, soldering it out, after just unsoldering the the first leg, <laughs> the whole diode pretty much fell apart. And um, yeah, that obviously was was broken somehow and needed replacement. So I went back online with um, with DigiKey. Could not really find the right part that I wanted. Uh, something that was suggested in the forums. It was a MUR160 and I ended up getting a couple from Mauser instead. So after ordering and receiving those I put the two diodes in because the two that are shown here are uh, close in the circuit and, and to their function. So I just replaced both of them, put everything back together again, powered it up, and this is the result.